It's tough to come up with an original idea in Hollywood these days, so when a film like Earth to Echo resembles a Cheris film like E.T., it's not something I usually get upset over. However, there are plenty of people who will be upset, and thus you have a film that is half feel-good childhood friend adventure story and half unbaked remake abomination. I enjoyed Earth to Echo for the most part, but there are serious weaknesses and corner-cutting methods used in this film. I struggled with Earth to Echo because, as I was sitting in the theater, I found myself enjoying what I saw. But as time has passed, I've thought more about the major flaws of the film. It's become less special. Therefore, for the first time on the show, I'm changing my initial rating from a 3 out of 5 to a 2.5 out of 5. I don't like changing my ratings, but honestly, I thought more and more about it, and it's just so much that does not make sense with this film. And that was exactly my issue. I came home from it and was like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. I loved it. I don't care if it's a quote-unquote rip-off of E.T. I didn't either, because I, I, so, I don't have a fondness for E.T. Not e. only that, myself. but I do have to, I have to throw it out there. Like While I have seen E.T., I haven't seen it in like 20 years. That's not our generation. So, That's not our generation know, at all. It's not like I see it and I'm like, oh my god, that is so E.T. They so ripped it off. I get it. Alien, kids, all that sort of stuff. I get It is. It's there. a pretty It's a pretty thick rip off of that concept. But I just really enjoyed it. And then it was after I got home and was kind of thinking back on it to you know explain to you what I liked about it that I realized, holy hell, there are a ton of plot holes. Like there's some things that I just... I've even looked online to try and, like, did anybody else notice this? Does anybody else have an answer? And can't even find anything. So it's like, there's no way in the world that I'm the only person who noticed this. And so it was just, it's kind of frustrating because I feel like they had a good thing going until it's like, oh, but wait, they left that very ambiguous. I think the general criticism of the film right now, if you go on IMDb, the general criticism is that it is an E.T. ripoff. But that's not... The problem of this film. The problem of this film is that it. I, I don't know where it went wrong. I don't know if it went wrong straight from the when they wrote the script. I don't know if it got rewritten a bunch of times and it just got lost somewhere. Right. I don't know if this film is on the the cutting room floor waiting to be shown because the film is only an hour and a half long, maybe. Yeah, it didn't um, feel very long. It wasn't long at all, and and that, that's a good thing though. That's a good thing. It didn't necessarily overstay its welcome. But it just cut corners to the point where how do you, you're not going to explain that you're not going to, um, and I don't mind if if a, if a film doesn't explain itself, especially found footage, but you know there was just so much there that that wasn't explained, and I, I was like, confused example, at the end. Like for example, these kids are in their home. They decide that they're going to tell their parents they're staying at each other's houses, and really they're going to go ride their bikes into the desert where their phones are guiding them on a map to this location. And maybe I am misquoting it, but they say that it's like 12 miles out into the desert. Like, I don't know, but that would take me a long time to ride my bike 12 miles. I think one miles. of the kids says like an hour away. It, like, I don't know, because so. I thought that they were saying like miles. And then you see they started here. They went here. They went there. They went here. It's like this is only yeah. in the course of one night right. from, you know, dusk till dawn. How are they, I don't know, like, that was just one thing. It's like, how the heck are they getting all over the place so quickly? Because, like, at, never at any point are they like, oh, guys, guys, we have to stop and have a break for a while because <laughs> right. my legs hurt. You, you know, know I never thought like of that, that, but that is that is one problem of the film. I mean, another is just the uh, camera equipment that they have. Like, I do a lot of, you know, video stuff, and I don't have the cameras that these kids have. And it, and it doesn't look like they're poor, per se, but it doesn't ne necessarily look like they're really wealthy to where these kids can be bought the, all this kind of camera stuff. Because the main guy has, like, three or four different cameras. He has the uh, the GoPro HD, which those are $150 cameras. He has the actual, like, camcorder, which those got to be 250 to $300, maybe even more. He's got his iPhone. We know how expensive iPhones are. You know, he's got all these different things, and it's like, that's cool. But at the same time, that's a little unbelievable to me that this kid's going to have that But it's that not much. to me because, like, think about it. If, like, our child being, you know, of this new generation, like, he at the age of five already has how many game systems and how many games and this and that. So if, if filming was his, like, enjoyment and hobby, is it really with, within 
or outside of the realm of possibility that he might have a camera that he got for his birthday and then a better one that he got for Christmas and then a third camera he got for his birthday the next year because it's a step up. It could. I mean, because at the beginning of I the guess, film, this but... kid is doing like YouTube videos. Yeah, and posting yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. So it's like obviously something that he does. It's not just like randomly like, oh, I have this camera. Let's film. Right. It's but I mean, all the cameras are very high quality and it's just like it was very unbelievable. Not to mention the fact that, again, I don't dislike found footage films. This did not need to be a found footage film in the sense of how it was put together because there's moments where it doesn't look like found footage it looks like it's just shot regularly like on honest to goodness film and i mean i i don't know that to me was kind of if you're going to do found footage go all the way do found footage so that we can stay immersed in that in that world um, i did like the kids however the kids were cool i i thought I was pretty impressed by them. The chemistry between the kids was pretty cool. They had home videos that uh, of of themselves, you know, as mm-hmm. I don't know, younger, seven, eight, yeah, you know, that was cool that they brought into there. Um, there Made were cool overlays, like YouTube overlays and, and Google Maps overlays, and those were all really cool and everything. But you know, this it's uh, it's not much flash, but this movie is flash over substance. It seemed where it could have been a lot of substance because there are moments in this film that you do feel like oh, the kids are, um, I don't know, you feel an emotional attachment to the kids, especially the, uh, uh, what's his name? I don't remember. Yeah, he's got a weird <laughs> name. Uh, but, you know, the, the more rotund kid who's weird. Oh, Munch. Munch, there you go. So you know, even when when you look at a when you look at him and and why he's friends with these other kids and the fact that they've got to move because the government or whoever is digging up this this land of theirs to find yeah. this spaceship that is crashed. Yeah, we find out during the film that that's actually the purpose is they're trying to find this spaceship that has landed and they have traced it back to this neighborhood. So. They are going to demo this neighborhood, and they say that they're doing it because they're going to put in, like, a freeway and, you know, all of this and that. And that's where, like, my big problem with the plot hole is. They mention, the one construction guy who's really some government operative, mentions that six days ago they got a signal that something had crashed and landed. At the end of the film, when Echo's putting back his spaceship, there's all these parts coming from under the ground and, like, deep under people's houses... How the hell did it get there? How did nobody see it? And the ground does not look like it's been recently disturbed. So it was just like so weird because right. it was very obvious that That's this is the, the biggest ship plot that hole. Echo came in. Yeah. So how the heck has it been unseen in six days? So unless I misheard something, like I said, because also you're not going to decide to demo a whole neighborhood and kick people out in the course of six days. So maybe, again, I missed something, but that was just a big unanswered thing for me and I can't seem to find the answer in my searching online so maybe I'll have to dig a little deeper now that it's been out you know longer well I mean the the best part of this film in my opinion is that it has a film that a lot of film or has a feel that a lot of films don't have these days that we got a lot of you know 80s films that we got the stand by me's and you know where it's the kids it's the kids you know left to their own devices and and you know join having other kids join them and and their differences and their similarities and why they bond and you know we get a glimpse of that but we don't get enough of that in this film and that's what the film should have been about because honestly it wasn't about echo this alien no and that's kind of another thing like why the hell did you call it that then it was the like, echo why not call it something about like friends who find aliens <laughs> echo was the the thing to get the friends together and then it just couldn't decide if it wanted to be about Echo or if it wanted to be about the kids, and it failed at both. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the end, uh, like I said, 2.5 out of 5 for Earth to Echo, 5 out of 10 is what that translates to. And, um, you know, I, I actually I enjoyed watching this film, so I do recommend it if you're not too sensitive about the E.T. subject. If you're not too sensitive about this ripping off et um it's a nice little film to watch for uh, a family and an older kid maybe like a 10 12 year old kid yeah about Uh, the age of the kids in the film yeah exactly because it's it's not that's what i like the comedy in the film wasn't necessarily corny comedy Mm -hmm. it was 
you know, age appropriate. Yeah, the kid saying balls and stuff like that. Yeah. I that got a laugh out of me and everything. So, um, you know, I I did like the film, but it has so much wrong with it that I can't and in good conscience so make this a good film. You've obviously reacted to it like I did. I left the theater like, oh my gosh, that was such a great movie. I really liked it. It was really fun. It was really cool. It had good visuals. And then it was after when I started thinking back on it that I was like, wait a second, what the hell? Yeah. So exactly. for me, I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. Because. You're being a bit more generous than I am. Yeah, and I think it. it's because, again, I'm not like a diehard E.T. fan, so I don't see the same. You know, maybe if I watched E.T. tomorrow and could, you know, accurately compare them, I'd change my tune. I don't know. But also, I just, it cracks me up that people always go to the, it's a ripoff of blah, blah, blah. Everything's a ripoff of everything. There are no original ideas anymore, no matter which way you look at it. Somebody either ripped something off from a book or a movie, or they combined three books that they read into one story. So get over it, people. Like, that's my opinion on that. Right. I just don't feel like you're ever going to... You know, I mean, they're remaking things that have only been out for a couple of years already. So. And I don't mind remakes. And, and uh, But the thing I do want about a remake is that it changes enough to make it... To warrant a remake. Uh uh, whether that be modernizing, which this is basically modernizing E.T., uh, just nowhere near as good. So uh, nowhere near as thought out, and, and definitely the budget wasn't there. So, but yeah. 